सीरीज एसी सर्किट्स क्वेश्चन फाइंड आउट द रेजिस्टेंस एंड कैपेसिटेंस ऑफ द गिवन इम्पिडेंसेस हेयर फॉर दिस इम्पिडेंस एंड फॉर दिस इम्पिडेंस वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ कैपेसिटेंस सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट वी विल सॉल्व दिस सो नंबर वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एट एन एंगल माइनस फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री ओ होम सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ इम्पिडन्स जेड जेड इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एट एन एंगल माइनस फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री दिस नेगेटिव साइन रिप्रेजेंट्स इट इज कैपेसिटन्स सो दिस विल बी दिस इज कॉल्ड एज पोलर फॉर्म दिस इज पोलर फॉर्म नाउ we have to find the value of resistance so let's convert this polar form into its equivalent rectangular form so we can directly convert using calculator so it will be 25 first we have to keep the calculator in complex mode so shift or mode then 2 now we will convert this polar form to rectangular form 25 at an angle minus 45 so shift then 2 then 4 so it is 17.67 17.67 minus j 17.67 17.67 so this is the rectangular form rectangular form now the standard equation for impedance is given by z is equal to r minus j x c now here it is minus so it will be for capacitive reactance now if we compare this equation with this equation so therefore we can say r is equal to 17.67 the unit of resistance is ohm and the value of xc the value of xc will be 17. Point, 17.67 point and the unit of capacitive reactance is also ohm now here this is negative this is negative so the value of xc will be 17.67 not minus 17.67 remember this point now we got the value of xc what we have to find in this question we have to find the value of resistance and capacitance so this is the value of resistance and the value of capacitance will be xc is equal to 1 upon 2 pi fc we will substitute the value of xc it is 17.67 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi multiplied by let's assume frequency is 50 hertz multiplied by capacitance the value of capacitance we have to find so if we take this capacitance on this side and this 17.67 on this side so it will be c is equal to 1 upon 2 pi multiplied by 50 multiplied by 17.67 so it will be 1 upon 2 pi multiplied by 50 multiplied by 17.67 so it is 1.80 1.80 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 and since it is capacitance so its unit will be farad so therefore c is equal to this value we can write it like this so if we put this sd or this eng so it is 180 into 10 to the power minus 6 180. 14 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad so therefore c is equal to 
microfarad. This 10 to the power minus 6 means it is microfarad. Now we got the value of resistance and capacitance. Now second question is we have to find resistance and capacitance for this problem. So we will copy it from here directly. This is second problem. So here we can write impedance Z is equal to 10 minus J15. If we compare this with equation Z is equal to R minus JXC then here we can write therefore R is equal to 10 ohm and the value of XC is equal to 15 ohm. So this is the value of R. Then next we have to find the value of capacitance again. So XC is equal to 1 upon 2 pi FC. We will substitute the value of XC. It is 15 ohm is equal to 1 upon 2 pi multiplied by frequency is again we, we are assuming 50 hertz and C as it is. If we take this C on this side so it will be C is equal to 1 upon 2 pi multiplied by 50 multiplied by 15. So therefore capacitance C is equal to 1 upon 2 pi multiplied by 50 multiplied by 15. So it is 2.12, 2.12 into 10 to the power minus 4 and its unit will be farad. So C is equal to this value or 212, here we can write 212.20 into 10 to the power minus 6 farad or therefore C is equal to 212. In place of this 10 to the power minus 6, we can substitute micro and its unit will be farad. So, this is the value of capacitance C. Visit the link in the description below. There you will find thousands of questions and answers and videos related to electrical and electronics engineering. Thanks for watching.